Hello, comrades, this is General Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. So, more of the Dusty Dune Galaxy this episode, in fact, only the Dusty Dune Galaxy this episode. We're probably going to complete it next episode. Emphasis on probably. Okay, so, blasting through the sand. This mission has a hidden star in it, specifically a green star. That's what we're going to grab first. Yeah. Sorry, he suddenly ran out of stuff to say. Okay, we're introduced to a new enemy, Pokey Sprouts. Love doing this. Get right in the middle. Star Spin! Killed all of them in one blow. However, their big brother isn't too happy about that, despite the fact that he's smiling. So, rush around, hit each segment out, then go for the head. Simple enough, yet in practice it almost killed me. Okay. Next, talk to this hungry Luma. That is how we get to the green star. Thankfully, those pokies gave us enough star bits. <coughs> One thing to point out, as with a lot of enemies, if you stomp on a pokey sprout, it'll give you a coin instead of star bits. So if you're going for, for the green star, well, actually, there are enough star bits to go around that you won't even need to bother with the pokies. Alright, so, we just have to grab five silver stars, and we have to make sure her to keep up with the sand. That's really all there is to it. Just don't get caught between the sand and the wall. Really easy. Of course, now that I said that, I'm probably going to end up dying. There's another silver star down there, so let's reactivate the drainage system. I don't know what you'd call this exactly, <clears throat> because after all, when the sand drains on one end, it fills in on the other. Never mind how odd the gravity is. Oh well. We've been dealing with weird gravity in this game for some time. Alright. Next, we want to... Right. This one, right here. We want to this one right here. Okay. I believe we want to take this route, but I'm not certain. And come on, give me a. Yes! There we go. Right. Next, it should be. This one? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yes! And once you've done that, all of the sand will drain. Which will give you easy access to the green star. Alright, so I'll go ahead and grab the star. Eh. I said I was going to meet you elsewhere, but... Eh, why not watch it? With that, we have now recovered all three of the green stars. So, rather than return to the bedroom, we come out here. Because Polari has something special to tell us. So yes, the green launch star will take us to a special area. Oh, belch coming. Excuse me! It's a special hub where you can access three, later four, very special galaxies. I would say they're all very difficult, but to be honest, one of them is really easy. 
the three trial galaxies, as they're called, all take advantage of special mechanics that you were introduced to earlier. And they basically go all out. Okay, so anyway, I will meet you back where I was at the hunt. Back where I was with the Hungry Luma. Alright. So now it's really simple, although there is one thing I want to do. Underside controls are a pain. Yeah. That rainbow star is a useful a way to get starved. If you missed out on any pokies. Assuming you don't miss out on the... <laughs> okay. So, yeah. There we go. We got 56 star bits out of that deal. No, wait. No, we didn't. Already had some from the pokies. But what I was really here for was something on the underside of this planet. A life mushroom. Alright. Could have grabbed that for the green star, but didn't seem worth the trouble since really the only threat during the Green Star mission is crushing damage, which is an instant kill. Alright. So, anyway... Oh, wrong way! Here you want to... to grab... five... blue star chips. Right there. I believe there's one here. Yes, there is. And, uh. Come on. Can I get this one? Thank you. And unfortunately, I forgot the Koopa shell, so we'll need to make another pass around this place. Well, to be fair, if I had remembered the Koopa shell, I wouldn't have been able to grab that, that other star chip that I struggled to reach. Okay, break the treasure chest open. And you've got all the star chips. And a few coins up here in midair, but eh, I'm not worried about that. Alright. This path is a more direct route. This one will take you to a little bonus. And see those beams coming down? Don't touch them. They're electrical. They will zap you. Okay. So this will take us through a nifty little bonus area, where I believe we can get one, two, maybe three extra lives. We'll have to see. they disappear quickly. Frick frack! So, unfortunately, we only got two of them. If I had been a slightly more accurate jumper, we could have gotten all three. Alright, so anyway. Warp pipe takes us here. Launch star would take us somewhere a bit farther away from our final destination. But, eh. So, what we want to do is... If memory serves, anyway. Go across here. Watch me die trying to get this extra life. Nope, I pulled it off. How about that? Here. There are some missed extra life opportunities, that, thanks to my shortcut, but eh, I'm not too worried. Whoa, <laughs> we got a pretty good life total. The tornado can be a helpful shortcut as well, just allows you to bypass some of that super luminal sand. And there we go. Yeah. 
And, as it turns out, we have enough time for another mission. Why am I acting surprised? That was only two missions. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> <sighs> Let's head back. Now it's time to grab the other hidden star. That's located in the third mission. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You have seen it on your own. Oh, and I feel another belch coming on. Excuse me. Yeah. Alright. So, ground found. That'll make the sand start rising. Just don't get caught under any of the blocks and you'll be fine. However, you miss out on some nifty the items as it was a result if you are too cautious. Apparently I wasn't cautious enough. There wasn't even a bonus under there and I still got killed. Let's try that again, shall we? Of course, you have to walk out for this annoying thing, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Again?! <sighs> well, this is turning out to be a bit annoying. <laughs> I'm sure you're loving it, though. <sighs> gotta be quick, gotta be quick! There we go. Okay. There we go. Missed some star bits, but eh. I was going for the one-up and... Life mushroom anyway. Okay. Now... Here, we have a few things we want to do. <coughs> First, we want to pound this switch. And we'll wait here. There are some things we can get from those blocks. I forget what exactly my guess is. Coins and star bits. Okay, so that's two star chips. And we wall jump. That's three. We already got the one on top, of course. And just go ever so slightly off to get that one. Oh! Forgot about that. Star bits in the shape of an M. Slowly, well, just not slowly, but carefully. There we go. You want to make sure you land on that platform. So you have to sort of control your fall. And now just head back up to the top of the tower. I made that look a lot easier than it can often be, especially if you're doing this for the first time. And if you want to get through the main mission, you want to kill that spiky plant. In fact, we're going to do that anyway, just so it doesn't get in the way later on. Oh! These enemies! Crabbers! They will yield... ...either... ...coins, star bits, or, in the case of the teal ones... ...one-ups. Ow. Alright, so that's the launch star we would want if we were going for the main mission, but we're not. Let's Goomba just to get a coin out of the deal. You might have seen this r before the sand star coming in. Excuse me. So yeah, another note collecting mission. And of course, since Luigi's a fast runner, you can sometimes end up running faster than the sand. 
come in. But still, if the sand comes in before you manage to get any of that, then you're kind of screwed. Because the notes will disappear before you can get all of them. Alright, so anyway, that gets you to the bonus area. Well, not bonus area. Place with the hidden star. And the camera will always be centered on the bullet bill blaster. For good reason, it's kind of important. We're going to want to pound this switch. Come on. Here, Billy, 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 Billy. Got a little tongue tied there. Okay. Problem is, when the tower is up high, chances are <coughs> the bullet bill won't see you, so you have to jump. Now, of course, we have to bring the tower back down to get the star. All right. Still really simple. Of course, the instant the tower goes up, those dry bones are here. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I caught that. Though I imagine some of you would have preferred to <laughs> see me be surprised when it suddenly hits me. Okay, so... That's all the time we have for this episode. And just as I believe I predicted last episode, we have hit the 60 star mark. Okay, so I shall save. And I will see you next time.